how does Kurt Salmon now look at you know diversification? Is it more inclined to say, boy, let's survive this and let's really be more traditional, or are they saying actually you take the lumps with the business cycle and you come out the other side stronger? I'm wondering, you know, if you don't mind the question. <laughs> no, no, not at all. We're just, you know, for background, about a hundred and sixty million dollar unit of management consulting group, which is in total about seven hundred million. Uh, and we are industry focused. That's been our strategy for about 40 years. And our industry is retail and consumer goods. We did, as uh, Steve notes, at a healthcare practice uh, some years ago. In terms of, in uh, our origins, we were a productivity, an engineering firm that went in and improved productivity uh, in factories. We really transitioned to the point where we don't really do any of that anymore. Um, still focused on implementation, but lots of different functional areas in the business process improvement within our target, target industries. In terms of the retail climate, it's pretty much all down. <laughs> you know, it, there's some areas more than others. I'd say luxury held on until uh, uh, early, early fall. Uh, they've really been getting hammered. Essentially, every consumer segment, if you think about tiers of retail, you know, the people that we're shopping in Saks and Neiman's or now at Macy's and the ones that were at Macy's are at Coles and Penny and the ones at Coles and Penny are kind of down at a Walmart and Costco and the retailers that are still doing well are basically Walmart, Costco, the dollar stores and there's kind of nowhere south of that to go but, but everybody above has been really feeling the heat we, mm -hmm. we have not had major change engagements stopped we're very pleased with that uh, most of our clients are the larger leaders in the space, and thus far, they are. Uh, their view is one of, you know, we're, it's a multi-year transformation. We've got to keep pushing on it. Uh, we uh, and we've got a good backlog of authorizations for next year, but we still kind of, I think, really need to be careful mm -hmm. around the portfolio issue. We, as an industry-focused firm, our portfolio wasn't so much around different sectors as it was around functional capabilities. And through the 90s, we grew our firm by kind of growing pods of different functional capability. So we had a technology group and grown like Topsy in the 90s, a strategy practice, a kind of a merchandising and product development group and so forth. I would say in the last recession, uh, kind of the 2000, 2001, the decision I made was to, because these groups weren't that functionally integrated, to let them largely maneuver independently. My time in the Navy, you go to a typhoon with a fleet, ships ride differently in a storm, and so you let them spread out and find the course that they can ride you know, most effectively. In retrospect, that was a mistake because it, it led different functional groups who were physically co-located in some cases adopt somewhat different strategies for uh, adjusting capacity and so forth, which became a real morale issue. Mm -hmm. see, so going into this one, we have uh, very much taken a one firm view. Mm -hmm. Very much, uh, uh, we've come to different decisions about where to adjust and so forth, but it's been very transparent and clear, I think, to people throughout the firm that we were all going through this together. Uh, in the same set of eyes, we're looking at the business in one way. Uh, we, we also, I'd say, have been much, much better this time at being very open and honest to every extent possible about where we were, uh, if we were going to do something, and when we were done doing something as best we could. And we found that's been, versus kind of lots of small cuts, and we found that's been helpful. We made some adjustments already. Mm -hmm. I don't know. The way it looks, you know, 09, we'll have to see. I, I particularly like John's comments this morning about the differentiation between strategies in a deep recession and a long recession. You failed to tell me which one this is. But I think there's a, a lot of words of wisdom in there that, you know, mirror things we learned that, you know, we don't turn off recruiting and stop at the bottom because we embed these holes in our pyramid that take years to work through. Uh, and that we don't try to just save cost at the bottom or at the top, but keep the pyramid shaped properly. I think that's a, a really good, good model to follow.